Hey, what's up? This is Big Zo 20 um, hitting you up, and you know, just just wanted to talk about this. First of all, I just want to go back, revisit this Kanye thing for a second. Y'all know I don't like to stick to um, one subject for too long, but I'm just revisiting this Kanye thing. I mean, obviously, people had such a problem with my word choice last time, and so I'm just going to talk about it. I mean, all the people who support me, who understood what I was saying, thank you, but I'm going to have to explain it to people who didn't get what I was saying with the word niggerish. I'm not trying to come down on my own race. I'm not. Me being black, I already understand the stigmas, the negative stigmas that come with our race, what people think of our race, and what people feel about our race, our race. And what I was saying what Kanye West did reinforced what people think about our race. You're not just reflect see when you what black pe what black celebrities don't seem to get. Black sports stars, black people with positions of power. What you guys don't seem to get is that you're not just reflecting yourself. You are reflecting and representing a whole race. I know it may seem unfair, but you have some weight on y'all's shoulders. It seems unfair, but that's just a burden that you have to carry being born the way you are. Just like other people who, you know, lesbians and gays and stuff like that, being born the way they are, they have to carry certain burdens. Being African American and born and being born black, we have the burden of people looking at us a certain way. So when you go off on, on stage, show no war show, and act unclassy, act ignorant, arrogant, and just totally disrespect just respect someone. Forget the fact that she was white. You just act like that. Act like an ass, period. People are looking at you and saying, oh, that's, a, that's, the, fu that's the fuck, that's the fuck you supposed to, there they are, that's, that's, don't invite the monkeys to the party. It's wrong, but that's the way people think. And so you have to realize that we are representing a race. I mean, we, you know, if you ever become in power, if you ever become in the spotlight, you have, you are representing your whole race. You're repping them. And it's a big burden, but it's a burden. So back to the Kanye West thing, it, you know, people back there, oh yeah, I, I agree with him. It don't matter if you fucking agree with him or not. That's the point is totally irrelevant. What's relevant is that you fucking disrespected someone during a very formal, um, during a very formal gathering or whatever, what have you. And furthermore, everybody's like, oh, well, he apologized. No, fuck that. First of all, write on the blog. Write on the blog and um, talking on Jay Wendell is an apology to me. And I never really felt like he apologized about what he did. I think he, it, to me, it just kind of seems like, oh, I, I did what I did, but I apologized and it made you upset. I'm sorry. No. And first of all, he didn't hit her up. Uh, second of all, excuse me. He didn't hit her up personally until after she went on The View and said, I haven't heard from him. Two days later, she went on The View and said, I haven't heard from him. Seems to me, if I had did something and I was truly apologetic about what I had done, then I would have fucking hit Taylor Swift up two hours after the event. And y'all can talk about he didn't have his number. As rich as he is, and as much of an entourage and assistance that I'm sure he has, with someone the ego of his size, he could have had her number within two hours. And I'm giving, and to me, that is too much time. So fuck all that for people who are trying to trying to talk on his behalf. Kanye West did what he did. He's not apologetic. He's an asshole, and it was wrong. And he represented us in a bad way. That's what I meant by nigger rich. And I'm not taking it back either. Second of all. Obama, you called Kanye West a jackass. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why? I mean, I can sit here. I'm not being a hypocrite. I can sit here and call Kanye a jackass. Everybody else can sit here and call Kanye a jackass. But you are in the highest position of the United States. People are already finding every little thing they can about you, President Obama, to throw at you. And it makes and it hurts my heart because you have to go through so much shit just to be the president. And you are an African American, you are a strong black man. And you have to go through all this shit and it hurts my heart. But when you do some stupid shit like this it makes me want to slap you. I don't care if the conversation was supposed to be private. 
You're the President of the United States. You're the President of the United States. I'll say this one more time. I'll say it one more time. You're the President of the United States. Okay? That means that you can't just say whatever the fuck you want to say. And I do feel that you are a little too much in the pop culture and shit. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's hip. But, um, okay, go ahead and do your presidently duties. Why the fuck were you talking about Kanye West in the first place? Around, um, news reporter type people who can record your shit. Why the hell were you talking about that? Hell, you should still talk about this healthcare reform. You should still talk about what's going on in Afghanistan. But you're talking about Kanye. Obama, please, please, please don't give them what they want. That's all I'm going to say about that. Second of all, Serena Williams. Serena Williams, I understand. They called you out in this line thing, and I think it was totally, ugh, excuse me, I think it was totally wrong with what they did. But you blowing up like that and going off on them, what the fuck did that do but get you um, disqualified anyway? And now they're talking about banning you from all this shit, which I think is fucked up. First of all, how many uh, white, white, um, tennis players and how many white golfers be blowing up all the fucking time and y'all say shit you know Michael Phelps can be have a, a picture of him smoking weed at a party but y'all threaten to do shit to him I mean y'all threaten to slap him on the wrist I think he got some community service but y'all talk about y'all don't talk about taking away his um his sportsman do you know taking away his medals and making sure you can't go to certain conferences but y'all want to do that to Serena Williams because she's a black A she's a woman and B she's black America's fucked up, y'all. America's very fucked up. Another thing I want to talk about, Whitney Houston. I really appreciate your interview on the Oprah. I think it really enlightened us on everything. I feel like um, everybody's talking about, oh, why she, she gave up too many fucking details. She gave up too many details. No, I felt that she was, I felt that she was real about it. We already knew what was going on, and we don't need no true Hollywood story or nothing like that, no um, e documentary on your life. You need to tell it. And I think you did it, and she did it in a very classy way, paid his father fuck back, she did it in a very classy way, and, um, yeah, so I, I really appreciate it, Whitney, you know, she talked about the cocaine use, she talked about when it started, her, her relationship, her, you know, tumultuous relationship with, uh, Bobby Brown, I liked it, I liked it, she was real about it, she kept it real. All in all, what I'm saying is, you know, Whitney Houston, you know, all in all, what I'm trying to say is that I feel that, um, Big Joe 20, and once again, I'm, I've just made this new video, just talking about, you know, trying to, you know, explain myself, which is something I don't do often, when I said that Kanye was acting niggerish, and I stand behind that, and, you know, I talked about Obama, his comment, and how I feel about that, and, uh, Serena Williams, um, I really do think it's unfair to Serena Williams thing. I really do think it's really unfair what's going on because I really feel like I would have went off too. But once again, like I like you said, like I said earlier, excuse me, once again, like I said earlier, they're looking for every and anything they can to make someone who is an African American and someone who's an, an African American person that's in the spotlight to look, you know, if, if you give them something, they're going to jump on it. If you're an African American and you're a celebrity on the spotlight, they're going to jump on you. And that's just how the fuck it is. You know? Um, and Whitney Houston, I, I applaud you. You're still a diva. I love you to death. Anyway, this is Pixel 20. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.